Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Boar Blasters, a mining action roguelite that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today. Looks quite neat. So in, we're going to go to see what it's all about. We got a campaign or quick play for the demo. I, I mean, let's try out the campaign. Sure. In we go. Fly to an island. Way ahead of you, I guess. <laughs> Fly to an island and get blasting. Select an island, press enter. Well, I use mouse, mouse click, but okay. Mouth click. I got some interesting hardware. Just don't worry about it. Um, okay. Collect gems to gain currency for permanent upgrades. Gotcha, gotcha. Kind of makes sense for like a mining game, right? Trigger the special ability when this bar is full. This one will let you ram through blocks without taking damage. To trigger it, press space. Hey, <laughs> collecting gems will also grant temporary upgrades. Fill this bar to get one. Increase bullet range, increase gem attraction radius, or increase your damage. Glass cannon. Okay, so that, I think that slowdown is probably to be like, hey, by the way, dude, this is about to run out. Huh. Yeah, it's like, it, it's kind of neat to see like a, an, yeah, an action angled take on it. So we have the ability again. Let's go for it. Okay. Okay. So that leads me to believe if we touch the rocks, we're probably right. We're going to take damage. That's the implication of why that ability is, is good. Go. Keep digging until you reach the bottom. Each dig site has a special reward to find. Please, I only have so long on this. Okay, we're about to get another ability. Go. Dig down. Oh, boy. Sneak in there. More damage. More bullets per second. Me in the middle. Oh, hello. Is this thing on? Hi. Chief Science Officer Cogsworth, wise clank reporting. Detected some real nice loot down to the bottom. Grab it if you can. It's like half Australian. Okay, so it's not only at the bottom, it's also this direction, it seems like. Yep. Dibs. <laughs> the juice. New unlock. Boom shaft artillery. Launch explosive projectiles at a distance. So that's like a new upgrade we can get on leveling up. Increase flight time and duration. Increase number of hits before hull breach. Bullets fired per second. Bullet damage. Bullet range. Magnet. Ability cooldown. Holy moly. Earn more from gems. I mean, I'm a sucker for make damage good. I feel like 30 seconds extra flight time, if that means like how long we're, what, we're out on a mission? Okay. So what's the difference between these? Do we have any kind of like knowledge about what they are? Huh. Alright, Gunnar, is it? I've been assigned to oversee your excavation progress. But first, let's see how your gyrocopper's coppers performing. <laughs> New biome unearthed. New block destroyed. Stop interrupting me! The copter's burning fuel too quickly. We'll fix that later, but for now, you'll need to make do with your with fuel blocks. Smash him up to keep your copter airborne. Uh, could I be notified what a fuel block looks like? Also, there's Satan in these here mines. All right, dig on over there. I would imagine it's going to be pretty obvious when we figure out what the fuel blocks look like, but maybe it won't. Keep an eye out. Everybody you tell me it's like it's like Dora. Let me know if you see any uh, any of those blocks. Maybe that's what the silver's about. Whoop, hello. Damage, more bullets per second. I mean it doesn't give me specifics. Oh, we still had our ability, huh? 
It doesn't give me the specifics, so I don't know fully which... I mean, I would guess that would be a fuel thing. It's either a fuel or, a like, an HP upgrade. I think that was... Fuel is hard to tell. It went pretty quick. Yep. That is really, really helpful. That kind of, like, quick slowdown thing. Mm, where's anything? All right. Whoop. Treasure chest, go. All right, we'll, we'll watch. Bullet range, bullets per second, gem attraction range. I mean, we I'm pretty sure we left some stuff up back up there, but oh well. Okay, it is, yeah, it's absolutely fuel. Good. Quest completed. So our goal is we needed three of those. Let's get all those gems. No, don't! You better not take me away from all those gems up there. Quality work, lad, but see to it that you put some of those gems to fix in that heap of trash next time, eh? Wouldn't mind a little bit of, like... I wouldn't mind a little bit of magnet, you know? There's an enemy, eh? We about to enter hell? Yeah, here. New biome. Hmm. Okay, so we can also blast them, launch explosive projectiles at a distance. I mean, I feel like I just entered a biome I wasn't supposed to in Terraria. You know? Am I taking damage down here? Uh -oh. I can't tell if I'm taking damage down here or not. It looks like my health is fine. I'll tell you, I don't feel like I'm quite ready for that yet, when we could just get money nice and safely up here. The cannonballs do seem to be going in kind of like a random direction. Which is sort of nice. I also really like that uh, if you dash through a block, it actually um, it picks up the ore automatically. There's no like finickiness with that, which is really appreciated. Go, go, go. Yeah, or maybe I'm wrong. There's definitely a lot left. I, I gotta get the magnet, I guess. And then now it didn't show up. Additional rounds. Sure. Boy. Because, yeah. Or we just need to, like, stop shooting sometimes. But that's it's hard to do. Right? If you have a gun that's digging things at a million miles an hour, you're gonna, like, I'm gonna keep going. Why would I stop doing this? But yeah, it's definitely wild down there in a way that... I don't know if I'm ready for. Yep. I'm gonna do it. Questions later. I will say, having these cannonballs, it's gonna be mining a lot of stuff that I'm not by. Thus making it a little bit trickier to grab it all. New block type. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We are getting absolutely overrun gunned down here. Alright, where's the bottom at? Okay. Are we leaving that biome? You guys gonna leave me alone now? I'm out of your home. You better leave me alone. Alright, it's like a void block of some kind. I think we've already mined one of those before. Do we go for it, or like... What's the penalty for staying? Is there one?
I mean, we're about to leave, so at this point, like, just go for it. I kind of like this close, the close range super blast build. All right. We can just like keep on getting all this ore too. I don't know. I feel like we would leave when we feel like uh, it's going to be difficult to find fuel. That's the current bottleneck I would see. Or I guess if you get hit, I guess people might get hit. <laughs> I suppose if you're at like one health and you don't want to risk it. I guess that's the other thing. I didn't consider that. <laughs> that's not trying to be a, a horn toot, but that's absolutely another reason why you would maybe want to uh, to leave. Yep. But for now, I'm digging greedily, I'm digging deep. I'm a dwarf after all. Why do anything else? Yep. It just goes on so far, though. Maybe for the sake of, like, curiosity in the campaign and, like, upgrades and stuff, we just do it. Because we might, we'll just get stronger, we'll come back, we'll, we'll mine more. It's kind of like, I'm going to be real, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, not going to try and make people angry, but this is just, you know, call it a spade a spade in a way. It's sort of like um, a high-octane, like, incremental idol game, right? <laughs> you know, it, it's a, it, at the very least, it's kind of giving me those feelings of, like, it's got that make number go, go up vibe to it. But in a way that, like, it feels, feels like it fits the combo better than a lot of rogue lights do with their upgrades where it's like feels like why is this even have that kind of like incremental gamey feel to it this it feels right with mining for whatever reason all right let's leave let's leave let's gr grab all this garbons and get out of here even though it seems like i could stay forever i don't care about all this extra loot just go just go just give me my billion dollars. Seems good. Chronocog, improved special ability cooldown rate. Let's get an innate magnet upgrade twice. Earn more from gems seems really useful. More hits, fine. I'll get one because it's cost effective. And then we're going to go for more damage. More damage. More damage. I'll get one to bullet range. I kind of liked how small it was. And we'll get more magnet range, sure. So these are permanent, huh? The demo stops you at this radius. As much as I'm enjoying your slow descents, Gunner, I think it's time we spice things up. Picking up some blocks on the scanner that are teeming with explosive potential. Blast some. Okay. I will say, I see my damage. I'm, like, getting my damage up, but I'm seeing one damage. Like, as much as I am technically getting damage up, apparently. Not seeing it in action. I'm sure it, I'm sure it does, right? Let's get the special ability cooldown rate. Try that out. Cause it's, I mean, it's very good. It's very fun. As good as upgrading like our damage and stuff is, just kind of like smashing our face through all of it works really, really well. That's that's the explosive. Yes. It's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, so we can actually run- we can run into it while we're invincible. Good. I like that a lot. I also appreciate that they're very well, like, telegraphed here. Uh-oh. No! Let's do it. Special ability cooldown rate. It looks like you get a little bit of invincibility after it as well, so you're not gonna just run your face into stuff. Which, love that. Oh, it's like a super bomb block. All right, these blocks do make it more exciting. We got a, a bad boy. 
I'm sure if we run into them or we blast them normally, we will have a little bit of pain coming our way. And I don't know the top, <laughs> off the top of my head what the radius of these are, you know? Oof. Wait, can I not get hit? Damage, bullet range, bullets per second. I'm gonna do this. I mean, my damage, it sure looks like it's one, no matter what I do. So I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I could just leave already? Let's... Oh, I'm gonna run out of fuel. Fine. Big site complete. Orbital battle axe cleaves... Okay, yes. That sounds fun. Didn't get a whole lot there. Bullet damage 8 to 9. If you say so. Bullets fired per second's gotta be helpful, right? Flight time seems good. Found traces of explosive material in some of the ore down here. They're like little chains of gunpowder just waiting to be exploded. Give it a try. I'm seeing some twos, some ones. We're getting there. I also see some fuel. We weren't hunting fuel down very well last time, I guess. Okay. That seems like the thing. So it's just like another type of bomb. Battle axe. Yep. Oh, it like goes a little bit further, huh? I guess that's the thing. Yep. I really do like that battle axe. I gotta keep my eyes out for some fuel. Okay, so our mission is to get uh, 10 of these, huh? I mean, I'm looking for fuel. I'm a wee bit concerned at the moment. I'm looking for fuel. Sir. Hello, friend. Have you seen any fuel? I mean, I guess I could just go complete the quests now. If you're not going to give me any. So, wow, imagine a vein of these next to each other. I see a lot of potential in some of these mines. I do like this axe a lot. I guess I'm just gonna leave as well here? I don't know, I'll, I'll stay right around this area. Oh! Okay. Gotcha, never mind. You don't just have to touch it. If you're just kind of in the area, it will... Blocks drop gems. Ooh. Seems good. I just think I'm gonna get flight time duration, because you go a long time without finding fuel, then it's kind of just like, sorry. Ooh, new biome? Can I go to the tiny one? Nope. Summon an inventory mucked up, and I'm to, to be the fall guy. Do me a favor. There's a mushroom found near the floor of the caverns. Find two and report back, will ya? 
I do like the kind of, like, I'm assuming the campaign is going to have these kind of, like, individual unique missions. I don't know. It's probably the dwarf of it all that's making me think this, but giving me, like, you know, that Deep Rock Galactic. I missed one. Oh, man. Dirt blocks drop gems. Like, the Deep Rock Galactic, uh, Galactic of it all. <laughs> you know, where you get uh, the kind of individual missions. It's probably just because dwarf mining, etc., etc. New block destroyed. These grow back. If we clear them all, do they go... They stop growing? Yes. Interesting. That's kind of... See, that's kind of cool. I feel like I need damage up. Is it going to work? Unclear. Can it... Can it grow on me and do damage? Seems like maybe the answer is yes. But if, again, if you just clear out every little bit of the vein, it goes away forever, which... Uh, it's a cool idea. Ooh, where's that go? Anything good up there? Yep. Not seeing a whole lot of uh, fuel. I really just have to take the word that the damage up is working. All right. New biome. Just fall in this air. I'm not seeing any fuel. It's got to be the mushroom, but do I touch it or do I? I guess I touch it. Should mention it's uh, for the king, by the way. No pressure. One more. All right, running out of fuel. See, there's some gems, but I think I just need to care more about getting there. Kind of trying to meet in the middle a little bit. Oh my god, this stuff is dense. Please. Tell me this works. Those will do nicely. Thank you. Don't worry, you'll be compensated for your troubles. Oh. You're not kidding. Seems like it might be... Whoop. Eh, if we're, if we're leaving, let's just get the magnet. If there's anything around, maybe we'll get it. Hey, like, why not, right? We could stay in mine, but when the... I can't find any more fuel. I don't know, man. Periodically throw bombs out of the craft. What else do we have? Ability cooldown speed. More from gems. I don't know. I don't care that much about the bullet range. Demo. Okay, so those... We're running out of them. That's alright, though. Is this Gunner? The one who will be brought back, who brought back the mushrooms? Listen well, our gyrocopters were said to have crashed in these parts long ago. Bring them all home or don't come back at all. So yeah, I do know that, yeah, I mean, these are procedurally generated levels here. But I wonder if, like, the campaign has the same general, um, missions. Oh boy. Gimme. Let's try the bomb. Ooh. They're sideways. Kind of like, uh... Gonna say, what, Olmec style? I do know that there's a little bit of ore up there that we need to technically still get. 
Ah, are those eggs? Is that what's going on? Yeah, those are eggs. So having things like the bombs randomly shooting when you're in this zone is maybe like a... Eh, maybe don't get it. Because, like, like, we just unleashed a hell. Maybe they should drop some kind of uh, thing as well. Their own kind of upgrade. Oof. Just want the gold. I don't care. Oh, this is going to be hell. Let's do it. Oh, shoot. Throw more bombs. I do like the kind of like really tiny um, missions in the sense that you can try out a bunch of different styles of builds pretty quickly, which is cool. I do appreciate that greatly. Ooh, we just set off a whole hive of them. The bombs are going to keep doing that anyways. There's only so much we can do. There's one up higher, huh? Maybe I'll try and get that. Oh my god. Okay, one. Defend yourself. Stand your ground, soldier. Go through. Yeah. Having the bombs maybe for like some of this harder stuff right now is going to be a good call. It, it is rough. The most effective thing is obviously just like smashing my face through it. More bombs. Sorry. Uh, no thought. Head empty. Throw bomb. Quest completes. We should get, like, a huge amount. It's pretty, like, time efficient to just go in and get the quest and get out. Regret my harsh words from earlier. You might just serve me well after all. We need to go down over there. Looks like we have a, uh... Oh! Potential time limit concern, so... Oh, there's some fuel. Thank God. It's really limited. Which I think is probably... I, I do think it's probably better than that first round that where they're like, by the way, this is fuel. So they, they threw it everywhere. But it's also worth noting we made, what, 35,000 in that one. We made 20,000-ish here. Earn more from gems and blocks. It's got to be pretty efficient to be valuable. I don't know. Damage. <laughs> sure. We got two worlds left in the demo campaign. We've detected a distress signal near the site of a recent combat engagement. You'll need to investigate. I will say, even though they are, like, technically different missions, it's not, like, they're that different. It's, we'll see, though. Maybe. This could be dangerous, Gunner. It's possible there are still goblin settlements near the battleground, so you'll want to keep an eye out. Okay, maybe this one is going to be different, actually. Because I was going to say, is it just, like, go to point A? Go to point B? If this is, like, more of a combat one, I guess it is the first one to be like that. I feel like I haven't played with the axe enough yet. There's just so much up here. Do want to keep my eyes out for uh, for fuel? Um, I feel like I always want to wait to dash until I'm like in a slightly tougher area. I want to just kind of do it willy nilly. Treasure chest. Sure. Earn more. Rip. So we don't get this stuff all the time. That is annoying. Is it? Oh, you know why? 
you know, it's it might actually be the axe that's kind of screwing that up a little bit. Who's there? Find my location. Help me get airborne. The goblins left without their goodbye present. A bullet in the brain. Okay. Uh, chill. Chill a bit. Just who the hell you think you are with your rusty little ship taking what's ours? This isn't over, stinking dwarf. Get him, lads. Okay. Yep, we got a combat thing. Not for long. Gotcha. So the knockback actually does push him back there. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right. So if we smash it with our face, we get it. If the axe breaks it, I don't think we get it. We have a decent amount of fuel left, so we could just, like, kind of hang out still. It should just be kind of, like, right there. I like how the most optimal way to mine is to stand immediately under the falling rocks and debris. Ooh. Ba-bum. Ba-bum. More axe. Oh, more carnage. Oh, it is a it is more axe. I do dig it. I mean, if you're not going to give me fuel, I guess I do just leave at some point here. The axes are good. They're like really good. I'm just going to leave. Depth charge. Periodically drop an autonomous drill module to create a shaft. Definitely curious. Bullet range. Meh. Demo completed, but there's one more island! Yeah, it's fine. Remember to wishlist the full version. Cool deal. Wait. That will not complete, you liar. You lying game. What are you doing? Now I won't wish list because I wanted to play more. <laughs> Let's try the depth charge. I don't know how I how I'll feel about it. We'll see. So it just digs straight down. For how long? For a long, long time. Forever? No, not forever. But for a very long time. Seems really good. Give me another one. I really do like the battle axe. But I don't think we use this one. But it also means that digging anything horizontal ourselves is just going to be, like, painful. Ooh. You can take damage from running into the walls. I literally just haven't all the whole time. It took me that long to figure that out? Wow. I mean, I assumed as much. I, or, I, like, I assumed it was bad, but... I didn't realize it was damage. It took me that long to figure that out. God gamer. <laughs> no. Uh, damage. I just don't feel... I don't feel the pull for range that much right now. Just die. I kind of want to see. I, I kind of want to see what dying does to you. You know. Let's get down to the bottom and then let's um. Perish. We'll just get to the exit where I can show that I got to the exit, and then I'm gonna die for fun. 
not for fun, but for uh, for data gathering purposes. Like, what happens? What do you lose, right? That's important information. Do you lose everything from the excursion, or what? It also keeps it nice and uh, nail bitey intense. Beep, 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 beep. Alright, let's figure it out. Come and get me! Psych. Oh, for a second I thought I just... Oh! Do you... Also, do you have an extra one? Run finish, dig interrupted, earnings... Continue. What is that? Okay, so what do you lose? You get all that money still? You lose nothing? And then that island still that Oh, okay. So the stakes are could not be lower. <laughs> it's it's extremely just like that that settles it. Yeah, it is. It's like a an action packed idol game, which I know is an oxymoron, but that's kind of what it is. If you're looking for something to kind of like grind number go up, I did not mean to do that. You can go to the same. Interesting. Okay. So you can redo ones. So that leads me to believe they are like the same missions, per se. Let's go to the main menu. Uh, neat. But yeah, it's kind of like it it's fills that area of like number go up grind idle game increment it's more like it's in it's an incremental game more or less the campaign i don't know if the quick play is uh is different or what there i guess i could take a, a real quick click at it it's just okay so it just gives you a level instantly with what the hell i never saw those looks like you get upgrades already bullets explode on impact lower fire rate interesting it also i i do want to note how it said yeah like this one this ship has this ability so like i'm curious to see what the other abilities would be like bouncing buzzsaw drone a projectile drone that targets enemies oh well, that's fun so this this is just like a i'm vibing mode just like is this a full is it like full meta progression so you can see what it's like Kind of seems to be the case. I wonder if it goes deeper. Oop. I can't believe he's not strip mining in this action game, you know? Yep. This is, this is not your, like slow methodical mining game at the very least which i do think is kind of a nice change of pace give me another one <laughs> free them all i kind of want to see now if there's like other upgrades or a different biome or something down here Okay. I do like that the enemies are, you know, they're a threat, but not like. It's not an enemy game. The enemy is your mining efficiency and like getting your objective. The enemies are there. They're something, you know. They're they're not a big deal though. They're a, they're just a different thing to click, you know. I want to see what else. Drone improvement software. Okay. So there's some pretty interesting upgrades here. That we just didn't have yet because of the meta pro progress mode, you know? Is that a giant... Was that a giant sword? Was that a sentient sword? That is a sentient sword. Okay, the sword's actually kind of a, a thing. Maybe the more, you, the further down you go, or or whatever, like the more you're gonna actually get some nastier enemies. Yep. 
Yep. The level definitely seems like it might be uh, deeper. Yeah, the, the swords are slightly tougher, for sure. They kind of like, they try and move towards you at the very least. Yep. I do think the, uh, yeah, one of the cooler things I've seen so far is like, ooh, gyrocopter periodically emits a blast wave. Shoot out of the back? Wait, in addition? That's good. In a game like this, you actually do kind of like that. Because then we can attack enemies while we're doing some mining. It's actually really good. I wonder if we can get extra shots out of the out of the back or what? Oh, okay. That is something. About those enemies. Maybe they're more annoying than I thought. We just didn't find the annoying ones yet. Zoop. Incoming sword boy. It 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 keeps going. Is it infinite? Is it infinitely generating it while we go? Sword boy. I could see sword our uh, range up being good for sword boy. For sure. I'm running out of fuel. Gem generating drone. Found the bottom. Okay. Hey -oh. You know, I feel like going through the enemy blocks, it's kind of, it has an interesting trade-off because they are actually like a lot quicker. So since we have the explosive shots, like they're quicker to mine through. Since we have the explosive shots, it's kind of nice to use them instead of the other blocks. Because it doesn't really matter that I have to clear out these little bug, bug boys. Oh, bug boys. Please. Okay, get on in. Send it. So do you... Did you get to use this for your campaign stuff? No. Okay. So the demo quick plays just so you can just see like the full meta thing. I, I appreciate that. I think that's a good idea. I think more demos should do that. So you're like, all right, what's it going to be like kind of later? I think it's a good call. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Boar Blasters. Uh, check it out. It's on Steam. It is going to be coming out. Let's take a gander in March. It's coming out in March. There's a demo right now. It seems like a pretty, pretty chunky demo. Uh, I think it'll scratch a kind of I was going to say like a dome keeper-y itch. Kind of like a dome keeper crossed with an, you know, an incremental style game. I think if you like games like that, you like mining games, this is like a more, slightly more exciting interpretation of it in a way that I, I find a little, you know, a little bit more appealing for me personally. Uh, but alas, alas, that's that. It's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check the channel. Rogue likes some more every single day. If that is something you're into, this is a channel you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.